Okay. Okay, this morning we are going to look at the uh, design of uh, sediment basin. Uh, so in your notes on page uh, 71, that is the uh, section on the uh, sediment basin. Now what is a sediment basin? A sediment basin is a structure that is formed by excavation of an embankment. It is a structure that is formed by excavation and or the construction of an embankment across a waterway at a suitable location. Right? It's the construction of a by excavation or construction of an embankment across a waterway. Right? The purpose of a sediment basin is to collect and store sediment from site clear during construction for extended period of time before re-establishment re of permanent vegetation under construction uh, permanent vegetation and of construction of permanent drainage structures. A sediment basin is designed to trap sediment before it leaves the construction site. It is a temporary structure with a lifespan of one to two years. Okay. The general criteria for the construction of a sediment basin. Huh? These are the, the general criteria. A sediment basin is required to be at the outlet of all disturbed catchment greater than two hectares. Or smaller if necessary. Right? It does not say just two hectares, you need to provide sediment basin. It also says if smaller area is necessary. Okay? Sediment basin should be located at all future uh, permanent detention basin or water quality control structures. Okay? It says it should be located at future permanent detention basin or water quality control structures. Okay. Third, sediment basin should be constructed before clearing and grading work begins. Okay. Sediment basin should be constructed before, not after, not during. Huh? Clearing work and grading work. Mm -hmm. Sediment basin must not be located in a stream. Sediment basin must not be located in a stream. Uh, this is another criteria for installation of sediment basin. You must not put it in a stream. Why? Because if you put in a stream and there's a heavy downfall, there's a lot of flow, it will wash down, it will wash out the sediment basin. All the sediment will be washed downstream. So that defines the purpose uh, of having a sediment basin in the first place. Sediment basin should be located where failure of structure would not result in loss of lives or damage to roads and properties. Uh, if you design a sediment basin like the detention pond, then you have to check on the uh, safety of the dam. Huh? You have to check for the safety of the dam. Huh? Like you're doing dam design or detention pond design, you have to check the safety of the dam. Make sure that it is safe. Huh? Make sure that it, in the event of any failure, it will not cause damage to properties or life downstream. Large dams, large basin may be subject to federal dam safety requirement. This federal dam safety requirement is the, the US, US federal 
bank safety requirement. Uh, uh, there's so far there's no uh, bank safety requirement in Malaysia. Sediment basin may be dangerous to children whose access must be restricted by adequate fencing. Okay. You must provide fencing if the sediment basin is a uh, can be dangerous to children around the area. You know, children, you know, uh, their nature. They like to play around. They like to look for the nearest uh, fishing pond, the nearest uh, swimming pool. You know? you know? Not all children live in a condominium huh? with a swimming pool. Some, they live in a squatter area. So the swimming pool is the sediment basin that you design. So you must have that in mind, you know, that when you do that and uh, provide the necessary fencing. Huh? Uh, an emergency spillway must be installed to safely convey flows of up to and including 10 years ARI. The basin length to settling that should be less than 200 to 1. The basin length to width ratio should be greater than 2 to 1. The side slope should not be steeper than 2 to 1. Okay, all these are the criteria. The criteria for sizing of sediment basin. The sizing of sediment basin, the criteria as follow. Table 3.1 uh, below 3.1 is taken from table 39.4 in MASMA. This list down the three different soil types and the design consideration which apply to sediment basin design and operation for e each soil type. Huh? Three different soil types and three different design consideration for sediment basin. Okay. So basically you the soil is divided into coarse grain, fine grain or Dispersible fine grain, fine grain clay. Okay, three types: coarse grain, fine grain, and dispersible fine grain. So it's denoted by C for the first type, F for the second type, and B for the dispersible type. Okay, and the type of basin is the dry type for the wet and wet. Okay. For the first type, the coarse grain is denoted by C and is the, the basin type is dry, okay. dry sediment basin. The second type is fine grain, is denoted by F and we provide wet sediment basin. The dispersible fine grain is uh, denoted by B and the basin type is wet. So the uh, different type of uh, design consideration. For the coarse grain one, we design for the settling velocity. 